Warning. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are advised that this video may include images and voices of people who have passed away. Taking steps to manage your diabetes can help you stay healthy and happy. A blood glucose check will help you if your blood glucose level is too high or too low. Regular checks can show what changes your blood glucose. The food you eat, the exercise you do, and the medications you take can all have an impact. Checking and recording your blood glucose levels will help you manage your diabetes. HbA1c is an average of your blood glucose levels over 10 to 12 weeks. It is important to have this checked every three to six months. Talk to your doctor about your blood glucose targets and how often to have your HbA1c tested. You can have a hypo if you are taking insulin or certain diabetes tablets. A hypo is a blood glucose level of less than four, even if you feel okay. If your blood glucose level is low, you may feel a fast heartbeat, sweaty, shaky or dizzy, weak or tired, hungry, or you may have blurred vision. If your blood glucose level is very low, you may feel moody, tearful, confused, or drowsy. You may also have headaches or find it hard to concentrate. A hypo can be caused by exercise, eating less food or missing a meal, taking too much medication or insulin, or being on the wrong dose, or from having too much alcohol. If you have a hypo, it's important to check your blood glucose if possible. Eat or drink some sugar, such as six to seven regular jelly beans, or 150 mils of regular soft drink, which is about half a can. Then wait 10 to 15 minutes and check your blood glucose again. If your result is less than four, eat or drink some more sugar. If your result is over four, eat some carbohydrate food, such as a piece of fruit or a glass of milk, or have your next meal. Some people who take insulin or certain diabetes tablets may have a hypo without feeling the symptoms and don't know their blood glucose is low. If you don't feel hypos, it's important to check your blood glucose more often, especially before bedtime, before and after you exercise, and after drinking alcohol. If you take certain diabetes tablets or insulin, your blood glucose level needs to be five or more to drive. Always check your blood glucose before driving and have some sugar with you in case you have a hypo. If you're driving long distances, make sure you stop and check your blood glucose every two hours. If you are unwell and have type one diabetes, check your blood glucose every two to four hours. Check your blood or urine for ketones and take your insulin. You may need more insulin than usual, so ask your doctor for more information. Make sure you drink water and try to eat meals and snacks. Call your doctor or go to hospital if you are vomiting. You have ketones or are not sure what to do. If you are unwell and have type 2 diabetes, it is important to check your blood glucose every two to four hours. Drink enough water and try to eat your meals and snacks. Call your doctor or go to hospital if you are vomiting. Have a blood glucose level of 15 or over. Or if you are not sure what to do. If you are taking medications for your diabetes, make sure you keep taking them, even when you are feeling well. Don't use other people's medication, as this could be dangerous.
Talk to your doctor about your medications regularly. You are the most important person in managing your diabetes. You can work with your diabetes team to get advice and support that is right for you. Your doctor will check your general health and discuss your diabetes management plan. Your doctor may also refer you to specialists if needed. An endocrinologist is a diabetes specialist doctor who can review your diabetes results and adjust your management plan if needed. A diabetes nurse educator will help you learn how to manage your diabetes. A dietitian will work with you to develop a healthy eating plan. Your dentist will check your teeth and can manage any problems such as gum disease or tooth decay. An optometrist will check your eyes and may refer you to a specialist called an ophthalmologist if needed. A podiatrist will check your feet and can diagnose, manage and help prevent any problems. Diabetes Victoria is here to help you. We can give you support and information to help you manage your diabetes. You can buy your diabetes supplies from community pharmacies and other outlets under the National Diabetes Services Scheme, which is also known as the NDSS. Over time, diabetes can cause damage to your eyes, heart, kidneys, feet, and teeth. Seeing your diabetes team regularly will help you stay healthy. Have your eyes checked at least every 12 months and straight away if you notice any changes to your eyesight, including flashes of light or floaters, blots and dots, or if part of your vision is missing. Your optometrist will check the blood vessels at the back of your eyes. They will also check for glaucoma and cataracts. Have your heart checked by your doctor at least once per year or more often if needed. Your doctor will check your blood pressure and cholesterol and will talk to you about your medication. They may send you for more heart tests if needed. If you think you may be having a heart attack, don't wait, call 000 for an ambulance. Signs of a heart attack include pain in your chest or difficulty breathing, pain in your arms or shoulders, or neck. You may also feel dizzy, feel like vomiting, or have a cold sweat, or you may just not feel right. Have your kidneys checked by your doctor at least every year. This will be done with a blood or urine test. See your podiatrist at least every year to check for ulcers, calluses, toe problems, or any other foot problems. It is important to look after your feet. Check daily for cuts, blisters, or red areas. Diabetes may increase your chance of getting gum disease or tooth decay. See your dentist every six months and remember to brush and floss after every meal. To help you keep on track, you and your diabetes team can make a list of targets which may include HbA1c, blood pressure, weight, waist size, cholesterol reduction or triglycerides reduction. Use a chart or a diary to record your results. Sometimes diabetes may make you feel angry, depressed, worried, stressed, tired or like you have no energy. To feel better, try to keep active Set aside time for yourself. Talk to your friends or family about what is worrying you or do activities you find relaxing. You can get help from your diabetes educator, your doctor, counselor or psychologist. You can also join a support group 
or talk to your family and friends. If you smoke, aim to quit and get help from Quitline on 13 78 48 or talk to your doctor. Remember, to help you stay well with diabetes, try to eat healthy food, exercise, drink less alcohol, be smoke free, take the right medication and see your diabetes team regularly. Writing down your health goals and actions can be a great way to help you manage your diabetes. If you have diabetes and you have a Medicare card, you can join the National Diabetes Services Scheme, which is also known as the NDSS. Your NDSS card will let you buy certain diabetes products cheaper anywhere in Australia. Joining the NDSS is easy and free. Ask your doctor or credentialed diabetes educator to help you or visit www.ndss.com.au. To speak to a diabetes nurse educator, dietitian or advocacy officer from Diabetes Victoria, call 1300 136 588. If you need an interpreter, call 1300 801 164. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people can call 1300 Koori, which is 1300 566 743. These phone services are free for Victorians. We are here to help you.